to verse 9. Wherefore, God, who's this? The Father. God has also highly, highly, highly exalted him. We read it. Is that true? Uh, 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 and given him a name. A name. That is what? Above every name. Come on, church. Zora Braha. Cancer is a name. HIV is a name. TB, come on, is a name. COVID 19. It's a name far above them. Far. Uh, Wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given, given him a name which is above. Some names. Uh, many names. Uh, most names. Every. Satan is a name. Lucifer is a name. Is that true? That at the name of Jesus, not Jehovah, not Yahweh. Ah, church, I'm trying to free you. Try it. You see a devil and you say, in the name of Yahweh, he ain't going nowhere. Ah, please listen. Ah, church, you see that? That at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every, not some, not most, not many, I told you the Father is a person. The word is a person. The Holy Spirit is a person. They have knees like this. The mystery of Christ. Shabra Glaska Brahaka Flaka Flaka Flaka. For it please the Father that now all fullness should dwell in Jesus in bodily form. All the fullness of the Godhead, the Father, the Word, the Spirit, inside one man, Jesus. Please follow. We say it to you. Now, every name must bow before Jesus. The the Father can't kneel before Him. Do you understand? The Spirit can't kneel before Him. Therefore, there must be inside him. They have to be. When you kneel before the Lord Jesus Christ, you're kneeling before Jehovah. Because Jehovah, Jehovah is in him. Haya. Halkanaka. This is now the new name of God. The totality of God inside one man. The Lord Jesus Christ. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. Seated in heavenly places. Do you understand? Ah! Is that true? So he says, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Is that true? The apostles show up. They baptize them in the name of Jesus. Because the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit is Jesus. <laughs>